A new generation of surveillance drones could soon be watching us all from overhead. The Federal Aviation Administration is expected to announce plans to expand the use of domestic drones in American airspace. Eyes in the sky, similar to the unmanned aircraft that the United States has been using to target terrorists abroad. Here at home, the surveillance systems can be used to track terrorists or drug dealers or to find missing children or locate wandering Alzheimer's patients. Lots of different good uses, but the critics warn the use of drones presents a major threat to all of our personal privacy. Meantime, a newly discovered Air Force intelligence document leaked and posted online states, if drones capture surveillance footage of Americans incidentally, the data can be stored and analyzed by the Pentagon for up to 90 days. And that's not all. The Fox Report's chief correspondent, Jonathan Hunt, is with us. When, when are these drones likely to be flying, and how many of them might there be above our heads? Well, there's a growing number already, Shep, but according to the experts, and indeed the FAA itself, there could be as many as 30 thousand of these kind of drones, 30,000 flying overhead within the next decade. Now, obviously, law enforcement uh, agencies love these drones, and they say they'll be able to save lives in things like hostage situations or search and rescue operations. But obviously, the privacy concerns are huge because they will in effect bring every single backyard in America into the authorities view you've always had an expectation of privacy in your own backyard you will no longer have it with with these there and there is essentially no real legislation currently written to curtail where they can go to limit what they can see that's the obvious concern Jeff. the language on this document Jonathan uh, incidentally getting video of Americans doing something. It, what, what does this mean? Well, for instance, one of these drones is up, say, heading down to the U.S.-Mexico border to check out the situation there. Or it's up looking over a traffic incident in uh, downtown Chicago. But if they're on their way flying to either of those incidents, they look down, it's, it records in your backyard footage, say, of a whole bunch of bags of fertilizer and some tomato plants. You're working on it. Are those really tomato plants? Are they marijuana plants? Are you getting that fertilizer for your garden? Or are you getting it to make bombs? They then have a reason, they say, to keep that footage, analyze it for up to 90 days, and start looking into all manner of things that you may or may not have been doing. Is, is there going to be a new rule about everybody building an extra bedroom? Yes, you cannot build an extra bedroom. Well, I thought you were going to have to, to allow a member of the government to live in the house with you. <laughs> No? That may be where we're headed. The judge probably knows better than me on that. It would probably better than I. It would probably be good, be good for housing. Housing starts. We be good yes. for construction workers. And Jerry Willis can address that one as well. We have everybody at the table here to sort out the entire situation. A member of government for everyone and a bedroom for all. Wow, wow. It's good and great welcome, now, John. Welcome to Monday. Drones for all. Thanks. Well, well. Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano is with They can't require us to build an extra bedroom, but I guess they can spy on us from ahead. Well, they can't spy on us from ahead. They really can't, can no, they? No, they can't. But they will. D did you see any legislation enacted by the Congress or signed by the President or any amendment to the Constitution? No. Answer, no. These are regulations in which bureaucrats gave themselves the authority to capture images of us in the privacy of our backyards and depending upon how low the drones fly, Jonathan can back me up, inside the home, if yep. the drone is able to see inside the home, and to retain and analyze and distribute amongst members of the government what they find. This is not permitted by the Constitution. It's not permitted by federal law. The Congress didn't vote on it. The President's been silent about it. Bureaucrats did it on their own. And this has been the case forever. And I know from working local television 15, 20, uh, longer than that ago, <laughs> If you, as a citizen, have a reasonable expectation of privacy, for instance, your girlfriend is laying out by the pool in the backyard and you have a 12-foot fence around your backyard. If my television camera shoots over that 12-foot fence at that woman who's naked in the backyard, I've committed a crime because she has a reasonable expectation of privacy. The drone shouldn't be allowed to do that either for the exact same reason. I would make the same argument as uh, your hypothetical neighbor who wants to see what your girlfriend looks like. The government would commit the crime. Shep, this is very serious. It's one thing for the government to do it. It's another thing for the Defense Department to do it. Mm. The Defense Department cannot engage in any activity in the United States of America without an executive order from the president that must be published. So if the president has authorized the Defense Department, Jonathan spoke about the Air Force, to fly drones over anybody's backyard, and we don't know about it, then the president and the Air Force have violated numerous federal criminal statutes.
But nobody seems to much care. Nobody seems to, to very much care. Why isn't the Congress up in arms? Same Congress that let the president bomb Libya is going to let his air force spy in our backyards and like potted plants, they'll look the other way. And there'll never be any sort of retribution for this. There'll never be anything. That's just suddenly there'll be tens of thousands of drones up in the air watching what we do. Now, if you're not doing anything, you might say, I'm not doing anything. I don't care. Well, should we just throw out the whole Constitution? Should we just run by a new set of rules? What, what, what should we do? For Third Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, the Ninth Amendment were written to guarantee us the right to be left alone, meaning governments stay out of our face. We are living perfectly normal, lawful lives. We don't want you in our faces as we do it. Suddenly the government silently from 30,000 feet above is violating those, uh, those amendments. It is quite a thing. And it's mighty quiet. Yes. Judge Napolitano, thank you. You're welcome, Chef.